Yeah. So something set that off and set that off. I have goosebumps again like crazy. And I swear something got thrown at me when I walked in that room. And uh, I had to make sure I was even recording right then because I'm so freaked out in this little house. We are gathering energy. Welcome back everyone. Jay here, getting ready to take you guys on another explore into the unknown. Tonight we're returning to this 120 year old murder house that we've caught some crazy stuff in here before. I can't wait to see what we catch tonight. I can't wait to see what you all catch. Don't forget to leave a comment down below if you see something I miss. Also, can't wait to use my brand new Arkfeld. Let's go ahead and get into it my friends. Welcome back to the journey. Now right now a bunch of you are probably going, Arkfeld? What the heck is Jay talking about in Arkfeld? Well, I'm so glad you asked. Let me tell you about this brand new Olight Arkfeld. The Arkfeld, the first dual light source portable EDC flashlight from Olight. The sleek, flat design is a perfect fit for your pocket, purse, or toolbox. Made from aircraft grade aluminum, it has the durability to last. Featuring two color temperature options, cool white and neutral white, the Arkfeld has five brightness levels and a memory function that allows you to select what you like with a single click. An amazing max output of 1000 true lumens will light up every corner you need. The easy to use swivel selector allows you to transition from flashlight to green laser. A great tool for your presentations and a favorite of your four-legged fur babies. Charging the Arkfeld has never been easier. The magnetized charge port makes it a one-click process. The Arkfeld truly is an essential EDC torch. Make sure to check the description below to find out how to get yours today for 10% off and never be left in the dark again. All right, my friends, I'm not going to do a whole video like this, but I wanted to put the uh, Arkfeld to the test and do maybe like a 10 or 15 minute uh, just flashlight session in here and uh, see if we can pick up anything. You guys, as always, let me know in the comments if you see or hear anything we miss. But um, yeah, this little flashlight's pretty bright. So far, I am really liking this thing. I just crushed an acorn. Oh, it's ice cold in this room. There's at least a 10 degree difference in this room. Holy smokes. Holy smokes. I mean, I'm getting goosebumps on my legs. <laughs> Would you be able to maybe kick one of these balls that I brought? Make it light up, let me know you're here.
you can feel the huge difference. When you come into this room, it feels like it's about 85, 90. When you go in that room, it feels like it's about 70, 75. I'm actually going to take this cap off. Put it here in the doorway. What the heck? What the heck? Something just like got thrown, I think. Like, uh, I don't even know what that was. I don't see a roach on the ground. And I know I saw something go through the air. What the heck? Oh, the cap hole's going off. The cap hole in there's going off too and I have goosebumps like crazy. Holy smokes. Did you throw something at me? Thank you for lighting those up and letting me know you're here. Guys, that is something else. I know it wasn't me that set them off because... I know it wasn't me that set them off because if I would have set the one off in the chair and the one in the wall, this one in the doorway would have went off and the one in the doorway did not go off. So something set that off and set that off. I have goosebumps again like crazy and I swear something got thrown at me when I walked in that room. Like a piece of paper or something and I've been looking for a cockroach. Don't see one anywhere. That was a weird noise. I don't know if that was the EVP or if that was something else. Um, I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and run the Ghost Tube Seer app as well as the Spirit Talker app. I mean, we're getting cap walls going off. So obviously somebody's here. I'm getting goosebumps like crazy. This is the room, like I said, that they said that a murder happened in. Um, I'm telling you, this house might be a tiny two bedroom little house, but it is one of the creepiest places. That's why I keep coming back here. There seems to be a lot of activity always around that chair and that doorway. And right now I see like there's a there's a noticeable difference right now. It's 80, 85 degrees again right here. But I'm gonna go ahead and run those two and uh you'll probably notice a difference in the audio quality, especially if you're using headphones, because the camera that I use has an Omni mic, which means front and back. But when I use the Ghost Tube Seer app for whatever reason, it only uses the microphone facing backwards. So it's going to sound a little bit different. You'll hear what's behind the camera more than you hear what's in front of the camera, unfortunately. It's so nice to be able to set that flashlight down like that and know it's not going to roll away.
My name is Jay. Would you be able to tell me your name? Looks like an old city block. Is that downtown Orlando? That you're trying to show me a picture of? This place is a little bit just outside of Orlando. Frank. Hi, Frank. Nice to meet you, Frank. Frank, did this used to be your house or are you just passing through? Who can help me? I can try to help you. What do you need help with, Frank? Are you trapped in something? It almost looks like a glass with some kind of liquid in it. Oh, that's an interesting picture. Do you need help finding the light, Frank? Nose ring. Nose ring? Is there something here with a nose ring? Or are you talking about the cows outside? Seriously? Is there one of the bulls that have a nose ring? Pat. Pat? Pat has a nose ring? Frank, do you know anything about someone being murdered in this house? Man, it is ice cold around me right now.
You just keep running away from me. Every time I come back in this room, it's ice cold again. Twins. Twins? Are you and Pat twins? Were there twins that were murdered in this room? That would be like super sad. She shouts. She shouts? Who is she? Deride. Deride? Deride is coming? Was that her name, Deride? I'm gonna have to look that up to see if that's a name or if that's a word. I really hope it doesn't start doing that Latin stuff again. Word. I really hope it doesn't start doing that Latin stuff again because if you guys notice, I've run this quite a bit since that night. And we've never gotten a Latin word since that night or before that night. But they start talking about something with a nose ring and then start saying weird words. I instantly think of some sort of a demon. That would be crazy if twins got shot, uh, murdered in this room. Shout out to Olight too. This little flashlight has been on the not turbo setting but high setting the whole time and Still has full battery. And it's honestly, I mean, it's a little bit warm right now. If I keep it on much longer, it'll probably get too hot to hold in my hand. But um, it also has a thing in there that shuts it down once it gets too hot anyway, so it won't burn itself out. And then I also like the, the feature of having the... Uh, it's us. It's you. So that now instead of like pointing at something, I can be like, oh, see this thing right here is blah, blah, blah. Or this is the blah, blah, blah. It's very uh, helpful now. So I don't have to just be like this over here, you know? Pull. Pull? You want me to pull on something over there? Are you about to pull on me? I got goosebumps up my back right then. Oh. The loft. The loft? Are you up there? My God. Goosebump city right out here. Holy crap. I couldn't tell what that last picture was, so I'll have to look afterwards. Were you telling me? I was looking at this when you said to pull. There's nothing in there. I think they already pulled all the fuses. I'm not going to pull this. What is in your hand? It's a device that lets me understand you and a camera. What's in your hand? I'm not going to pull the ceiling down if that's what you're asking me to do. I could have sworn I just heard footsteps behind me. Maybe it was just the stuff I was stepping on. Did this used to be one of the twins motorcycle? Oh. Wait. 
Is that a regular dog or is that a demon dog with red eyes? Is there one of these here? It looks like a devil. Bernadette. Bernadette? I've gotten that name here before. Hi, Bernadette. Are you standing really close to me right now? Wind carries laughter. Wind carries laughter? Laughter? Oh my gosh, I got goosebumps like crazy right now. Yeah. Hi, Bernadette. Bernadette, were you one of the twins? Or was that Pat and Frank? Okay. I don't know if there's like a rat or something out there just like made a whoosh right as I was switching back to the regular camera. And uh, I had to make sure I was even recording right then because I'm so freaked out in this little house. We are gathering energy. You are? What are you gathering energy for? Are you about to do something? You can take energy from my phones or my light. You're not allowed to take it from me though, okay? Bro, I could have sworn I just saw something standing right here in this doorway. That's what I flipped the camera around. I can't get over the chills I'm getting in here. Bernadette, are you the one that they said yells? Are you yelling at me right now to leave? All day? The very first time I was here, somebody yelled at me to get out. Was that you? I'm sorry, I don't mean to intrude. I'm just curious about... Can you tell me what happened in this room? Were there twins murdered in this room? Was, was it Frank and Pat? Frank, how can I help you, Frank? Are you lost? Are you are you trapped here? Yeah. 
Who's keeping you here? I just want to sit and listen for a few minutes and see if we hear any. Sounds like somebody's walking around out here. Also, I don't know if the camera will be picking it up or not, but it, it kind of had a sound right there, like the fan was on with that. All right, my friends, uh, my headache above my right eye, like, it's like right in here. It keeps getting worse, so I think I'm going to go ahead and head out of here. Very interesting night. Um, I know this place is tiny, but it is so damn creepy. If you ever came here, you would, you would see what I'm saying. Like, it literally feels like there's stuff around every corner here. Really impressed with the Arkfeld EDC torch here. This thing held its own. You're looking for a portable, rechargeable, everything you could ever need torch. This would be it right here. That flat design makes it fit in your pocket, your purse, all over the place. It fits in there perfectly. And uh, the other good thing is leaving it on your nightstand. Um, because if you use the moonlight, which is this one, you could actually read a book next to whoever you're in bed with and never wake them up because this isn't even, I think that's one lumen, so it wouldn't be like having your phone there waking people up. But um, yeah, this is a very versatile little thing, perfect for any situation that you can think of. And if you have animals, if you do presentations, the little laser pointer thing is perfect for that. And like I said, it'll come in handy for us because I won't have to just be like that over there and hope that you know what I'm pointing at. But um, all right, my friends, that's going to do it for me tonight. I cannot wait to see what you catch. As always, don't forget to smash that thumbs up. If you're new to the channel or just haven't yet, don't forget to subscribe. Also, check out the journeyisthedestination.shop for all of your merch needs. Don't forget to check the description so that you can get your own Arkfeld and bring yourself out of the darkness with this awesome little torch. I'll see you guys on the next Explore. Much love. <laughs>